In many communities in Africa, motorcycles serve as a primary mode of transportation for families and children to schools. However, the sight of children riding as passengers on the motorcycles raises serious safety concerns. This multimedia feature investigates the risks associated with children being transported on the motorcycles to school, combining personal stories and the community effort to address these pressing issues. The unfortunate part, some of these children are carried on a border very early in the morning without any protective gears, without any protective jackets, without anything. One is exposing the child to too much cold, which can develop to pneumonia, which at the end, a parent would spend even more money to cure that condition. Each morning, streets in Gulu City are filled with families and border border riders as they navigate the hassle of getting children to school. For many, hopping on motorcycle is the norm, but beneath this everyday routine lies a troubling reality. Joe, 11 years old, eagerly climbs on his rider's motorcycle each day at 6.30 a.m. for the ride to school. It is fun and fast, he says. Unaware of the dangers, unfortunately, statistics reveal that children like Joe are at a heightened risk of injuries. Every day, two children perish in motorcycle road crashes. In 2022, 650 of motorcycle accidents involved child passengers in Uganda, while in 2023, 872 of the motorcycle accidents involved child passengers with majority of children suffered serious injuries and fatalities. However, in the last six months of 2024, 839 reported cases of motorcycles accident involved child passengers. We are getting challenges because we always think that it is only traffic for hazardous. For example, even if we are to conduct operations, you cannot chase a border border that is carrying three or four children. You are causing more problems. So who is to help? Lack of helmets, reckless driving, poor road conditions, these numbers underscore the urgent need for awareness around the dangers of motorcycle travel for children, especially taking them to school. Teachers need to help us, parents need to help us, riders need to help us. Especially parents, let them stop putting these children on two border borders. It would really be madness of the highest order to see a traffic officer chasing the rider carrying three or four. It means that this person will hit them down and they die all of them. So, I've always put it and said, as traffic officers, we have a role to play. We are doing it. No. Elements, let's look at elements. These children are also supposed to have crash elements. Who is to buy? Is it traffic to buy and give their parents? Or it is parents to buy and give to their children? Exactly. Mm. So, it is a great responsibility, but for us, that's why we are doing massive sensitizations among schools. We are doing it every year. We visit 50, even more. Than that. We engage them on radios, we engage them physically, we engage them on televisions, papers, to make sure that we really send messages of what's happening. The police officers and the parents. Hmm. The parents are the best people to safeguard this program. Experts recommend that mandatory helmets for passengers implementing laws that require helmets for all motorcycle passengers, particularly children, training programs, establishing workshops in schools and communities on safe riding practices for both riders and passengers, awareness campaign, launching campaigns to inform parents about the dangers of allowing children to ride as passengers on motorcycles. At a speed that is less, you cannot block someone when they die. If you take a meter per hour, then where there are no people, 100 kilometers per hour is the maximum speed limit. Uh, though, that whoever drives around these schools, they must go below 50. That is 30 kilometers per hour. This one is also going to help us, but a review on road traffic safety and successful establishment of safe school zones.
We are going to have special road traffic signs around this school. Humps, for example, these schools that are built up on the highways, you see zebra crossings being put there purposely to make sure that these children are safe. We are visiting schools every quarter. We reach out to 12 schools. So in a year, we visit more than 50 primary schools. The purpose is to promote uh, road safety of course among the young children, teach them what they are supposed to, how to conduct themselves on roads. At our school, we have the numbers, the telephone contacts on the border borders. And that is one thing that we have uh, uh, seen as a way of uh, protecting our children. I advise parents to get borders who can carry at least, if not more than two, or one is better, or two. But I know challenges that parents may have is they don't have better transport. Children come from very far away to that school the parent wants. You see, a child passes very many schools and comes to that very school they want, the parent wants. So those are some risks that children are faced with. To me, I would say parents should begin to look at the human life more than the money. Here is a parent who entrusts a child whose life is so precious to a border whom he even does not even know where he comes from. Do we really value humanity or we value money? The life of this time puts money number one and the life of children becomes number two. Now, if the life of a child becomes number two, then I ask myself, do we really love our children in depth or we just love by word of mouth? My appeal to those who doesn't have the riding permit, please get training after training, then you get the riding permit. Although we understand that there are some people there who don't get the shortcut of getting riding permit without getting trained. So you may be having riding permit without being trained. That one will not help you. Because the most important thing, you must have the knowledge in your vocabulary. That knowledge is the one which will help you when you are using the road. You will be knowing how to overtake, how to indicate, how to use your side mirrors, how to, to slow down or how to see where the, the, the road signs are. As the day winds down and the last pupils leave school, the risk of motorcycle accidents continues to loom. For the children like Joe, a seemingly simple ride can lead to a devastating consequence. It is time for parents, community leaders, and the policymakers to come together to ensure safer transportation for our children. Join the conversation. What steps can you take to promote motorcycle safety for your children in your community? This story was produced with the support of Media Monitoring Africa as part of the Isu Ilithle Awards.